hailed as one of the greatest warriors. Commander Farsight of the Tower Empire has led their armies across space to reclaim areas that were invaded by the Imperium of Man. That sounds like an introduction of a comic book, first issue. I reckon we should make it happen. This is Commander Farsight from the Tau Empire in the setting of the Warhammer 40,000 universe. And the reason we're painting him is because we are already at episode number five of the VIP Painting Commission series on the channel and our winner of the latest competition, Niall, has selected that model to be his prize. I'll start painting shortly, but first, Niall has set me a challenge. He'd like this robot painted in a comic book style, which is no problem at all, other than... I've never painted like that before, and I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's okay, because when we're going to try something new, or if you see something that you like the look of online and you'd like to try it out, allocate a little time to researching first. I've read comic books. I know what comic books look like, but if you told me to sit down and draw or paint in that style, I'd struggle. There are different styles that comic books can be illustrated in, and today I want to take a look at cell shading. The way I see cell shading, and would best explain it, is that if we are used to pretty rendered gradients in 3D art and smooth wet blending paint transitions on our models, this, this is almost the opposite. Here we will have distinct colour bands that move to the next highlight colour, but with a defined line. There's zero blending happening. Normally I'd build the model in sub-assembly to make it easier to paint, but I thought for this style that we are exploring, it would look nicer for you to view if our character was complete from the beginning. With our model built, it is time for us to pick out our colours. Now Niall already collects a handful of different Warhammer armies, and in there he even owns a few tower models that he's painted in different colour schemes. I reckon we take a look at those first. This is a popular paint scheme for one of their sub-factions called Viola, which is French for I made this fish appear. It just so happens that the only other time I've painted a tower model was in this video, and it was painted in similar colours, so that's not an option. Good video though, just saying. Red. I like it. It will be the fastest of the robots, but some advice I received was that you want really bright colours for this comic book style to look great, and going brighter in reds would be okay, but I think we can have more fun. This looks fun. Purples, bright colours, and it also matches the colours of Niall's custom Space Marine Salamander successor chapter, the Dark Krakens. Kraken? Kraken dim chick! Primed in white to help keep my colours vibrant and continuing with my trend of comfy cost-effective painting handles as I use some double-sided tape on a cork bottle stopper to hold my model in place. I know that's a weird thing to bring up, but people kept asking me in the comments and I wasn't aware that there were such enthusiasts walking among us. Base colours are going down and you can paint your model with one section at a time in entirety, for example like the entire shield. But what I'm going to do today is paint all of the base colours, and then all of the first layer, and then the second, and so on. And that way, if you'd like to follow along, there's these distinct chapters for you to make it a bit easier. As I go, I'll pop these paint colours up in the top right, just in case you want a colour match. And for info, I think each of the paints I'm using today are the Army Painter Fanatic War Paints. I've been using them quite a bit lately and have found that their bright colours have really good coverage, which will be important today as I don't want to battle with lots of thin layers. One of my favourite aspects of this year's VIP Commission series is that I'm being asked to paint models I would have never selected and in styles that I've never attempted. I'm growing more as a painter from these videos alone, and I guess the lesson in this for me has been that allocating some time to things outside of your comfort zone is never wasted. I've discovered that I'm having fun regardless of what model I'm painting, and I'm proud of myself for trying to learn some new painting skills. I like painting for my friends, and if I can create some models that are a little unusual and in a style that they really enjoy, 
then it will mean even more to them when it sits on their display shelf. Now I'm no fool, I know that the model is looking very average right now, and I was given the heads up that the model will probably look garbage until it is in its final stages. So, as a bit of a reassurance to everyone, future Mike, can you please post a picture here, some kind of teaser, to show that the model turns out alright? I've got you. Yeah. Although, if it doesn't turn out well, can you give me an alternate take? It sucks, but it's a deliberate artistic metaphor for life. Thanks. The first stage was easy. I didn't need to think about what I was doing. I was just colouring in the lines. Now, with my first band of highlight, I should be considering where they will be placed on the model. On one monitor, I have the camera set up to make sure I'm actually in shot for you. And on the second monitor, I have a handful of reference images. It's confusing because they don't seem to share the same principles for highlighting. Some will have a traditional highlight along raised edges, but then on another with a flat panel, there will almost be a split bubble looking highlight going on. All of them look cool though. So my takeaway is that even if I don't understand the exact science on behind where I should be placing the bands, there's every chance it'll still look really nice. It sucks. Nah. I hadn't asked for your help that time. I'll continue to paint the various coloured layers, and while I do that, I want to let you know that these competition giveaways are made possible by the series sponsor, Proxy Wargaming. There are so many talented mini designers out there, and Proxy Wargaming are a licensed merchant for a whole host of amazing artists that you may not have heard of yet, but you're going to discover some great ways to incorporate their models. Proxy Wargaming are two brothers that share our love of the hobby, and they print and sell these incredible designs. They offer a whole host of sci-fi and fantasy miniatures in different scales for you to include in your favourite game systems and board games, and they also offer 3D printing for your custom files. Niall, as part of your prize this month, Proxy Wargaming are hand-picking out a selection of models to fit with your current armies. Four intimidating looking assassin models to infiltrate their way onto the battlefield and eliminate your opponent's command structure, and these cool looking nautical themed alien race models, including two of these frontline battle suits and a 10 man squad of strike soldiers. I'll add a link below for those of you that would like to check out their models, and as I prepare myself to start on the black lining, there is probably a bunch of you that still have no idea what this competition is, and why Niall is getting all of this awesome stuff sent out to him. I'm also throwing in Tim Tams. Flashing Badger Painting has a thriving Discord where we encourage one another on our painting journeys, and discuss all things hobby related. There's also a section allocated purely to showing off our pets. Yep, you get the vibe. But every second month is a painting competition. You don't need to be the best painter because the winner is chosen at random by spinning a wheel. So it's as simple as we pick out a model from our backlog pile of shame, we have one month to paint it, which encourages us not only to clear out that backlog, but also to try new techniques and to grow as painters. And then if you win, oh my, you get to name a model and I will buy it, paint it and post it across the world to you. And now thanks to Proxy Wargaming, this postage box is now turning into more of a care package as we load it full of models and delicious snacks. Do you want to come and be a part of it? It's free to join and I'll add a link below in the video description. Our October competition is nearing its end, and then for the December comp, we have some huge plans with a number of channel sponsors teaming up for an epic end of year celebration giveaway. You won't want to miss that. I think that I've successfully distracted you whilst I worked my way around the model, painting all of the black lining. This took me quite a long time, and my advice will be just to settle in and accept that it will look better in the end if you go slowly and reward yourself with breaks every now and then to stretch and refresh. You know what else is fresh? Each of these amazing patrons 
Thank you so much to each of you that financially support this channel. Your contributions mean that I can post packages like this around the world and together we absolutely make someone's day when it arrives. I would describe each of you as being in mint condition. Except for you tiny, you're near mint. At best. Now I wanted that joke to be harsher, but the next step down from near mint condition is very fine. And if I called tiny very fine in my video, I'll never hear the end of it. Enough of all of this. Please come and discover how the model has turned out as together we reveal Commander Farsight in comic book form. Today was a lot of fun, for me, probably for Niall as well. But for you guys, I hope that you did get something out of it. And if you've made it this far into the video, there's a good chance I'm doing something right. But I'm going to be selfish and ask you for two more things. Number one, could you leave a comment below about anything? You could tell me what you thought of this model, tell me which model you would pick out if you were to win the competition, or perhaps tell me why future Mike is the laziest character we've written so far. And the final thing, check out the amazing models that our Discord members have painted for this month's competition. And I'll even include their social media handles down the bottom so that you can follow along and support your favorites. Thanks again, and I'll see each of you on the next video. Keep the love Make it last forever, maybe